Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Listen, what I want to do is take you through this tool called Bannerboo. Now, Bannerboo was here last year, right? And um, I don't know if a lot of people had an opportunity to look at them, but I like the fact that they came back because there's some other things that gave me an opportunity to upgrade it, but it also gave me an opportunity to show you some of the, the new things and some of the magic can, you can do with this tool. Is this your first time to this channel? Please go ahead and like, subscribe. I'm always doing these different hacks, looking at some of the newer um, lifetime deals that are coming out. If you want to look and see what I've been doing with some of these tools later on and how I've been connecting them and going a lot deeper, then you might want to try uh, to take a look at me over at my other channel. Uh, I'll put a link to the description there or I may put it up above. So you can take a look at that channel. All right, so let me let me just kind of tell you in a nutshell what this tool is about. It's a tool that makes banner ads, um, or yeah, or banner. Mostly they do banner ads, and most of the banner ads are done in uh, what they do different than anyone else is they're the only complete banner application tool that um, they create tools for all different types of. Uh, uh, ad display networks, you know, your Googles and, and, um, all of those other types of, uh, ad display networks. So they have a lot of them out there, um, too lengthy to explain. I'll show you the export and you'll kind of see what you can do with that. But let's take a look at what we have here. And again, I'm not, this is not going to be about, um, going into the tool as detailed because there's some other people that kind of did that already. I, you guys know I don't do that at this channel. I kind of just show you the creativity of what it can be and how you can add and how you can make money in your bottom line. So in essence, what you do is you choose what type of um, display you want to use. You can put in custom sizes here. These are these are banner ads that can just play at the top of um, a blog or something that you may be running. You can actually rent out. You can just let me just give you an idea here, as I always do. You can create, um, you can just do the displays for people. If you have a successful blog, you can just, uh, and you can sell ads. People say, hey, I'll, I'll create the ad for you and we'll display it. Okay, that's powerful for you to be able to create it and display it. So that's two different things there and you can charge them a monthly fee on that and so on and so forth. What I would like and what I wish they would have is some type of activity that someone could see the actual, um, activity of the links and or the views behind it so you, if you wanted to sell that as an option to one of your clients you can definitely do that but that's just one thing so let me show you what i mixed this with and again this this will not take you long let me show you what i did with this tool and i want to show you how i put it together with another tool that's currently out um that'll be my that'll be my hack pack for this week um all right so what I have here is I have, I created this ad here and I use a template. I think it's pretty good to use a template and then you just create off of it. And so what I basically did was I have this template here and I just says, Hey, you can get, you know, you basically can get your retirement number this fast. And it has a download link here. This is how fast you can get it. As fast as I can change this card from an ace to a jack. That's as fast as you can get it. So let's take a look at it because I want to show you what's going to happen. So you can get your retire numbers fast. You can click here. This is the active link and you can click that and make that go to there. Right. And so that is the template that I put together. Again, this has a normal timeline like all the other ones out there. But this does something a little bit unique um, in the fact that they do uh, HTML uh, dynamic HTML5, which they can change it on the fly and AMP, right? And so what that basically means is if it has HTML5, if I wanted this link to go somewhere else, so let me find the link here. Um, where is it at? Download now. If I, if I, if you see the link here, right, this is the link. If I wanted to change this link and have it go somewhere else, while the ad is still running, if it's on my own platform, then I can just change it. That's I think that's pretty powerful. I don't think you can do that on any of the others. You definitely can't do that in Canva and you can't do that in um, in Krillio or any of the other ones as well. So it is dynamic, it has HTML5 and it has AMP, right? And so those are different and those are very unique. So let me show you what I did with this tool. This, this is gonna blow you away. I don't know if it's gonna blow you away, but 
let's look at the publish settings, right? And this is, I think this is very important. I think a lot of people had questions about this. So again, this is no different. It has the animation lines. You can make it in faster. You can make it, you know, you make the animation go longer. You can make it smooth in right corner. Have a lot of these almost like a macro media. I don't know if you remember when that was out. It kind of has the same flavor to it. Bounce left, bounce right. You can do all of that. Those are the different slide in, slide out. You can make the animation go a lot longer. Those are, those are not different than some of the other things that you do, right? I think what is different and what they do uniquely is you can publish, you can save as a PNG, convert to GIF, obviously convert to MP4, download it on your side and post it somewhere else. This is what they do. The custom HTML5 is very unique and you can download the entire thing in a zip file as well. When you download it to custom HTML5, Right. When you download to custom HTML5, you can have here responsiveness. So it'll go to the actual um, it'll do it'll it'll go to the size of whatever it's being displayed on. Right. And so that's one of the things that I like that you can do. So let's look at what I put this together with. So obviously my tool of the month of last month, and I don't know if it may make a tool of this month as well. This is my tool in StoryPress. Now, I wanted to see it says, man, can I use the two together? And I only just brought it back up because I never even thought about it. I bought this last year, thought about it. I was like, man, let me see what, if I can add it in StoryPress, right? So I was able to add it in StoryPress. So let's take a look at it and let's see what the ad does. So add in a story press again, I'm still working on this page. I'm working on so many other projects, but I want to get this page a lot cleaner. I am going to get it a lot cleaner, but it's some other things I want to add. So here's the ad right here, right? And so what I want people to do, see, you can get it this fast, as fast as you can turn an ace into a jack, right? And it's just, it's running. So the way I have it running on it. So what you do now is you can click download. Now what happens? Boom. It gives you now I can actually take people and they can actually order and uh, and actually order uh, something from my site and and takes them to a checkout cart. Again, this is a Sam cart single page checkout. I think those are very good. If you go to my other site, I'll show you the dynamics of this, whereas a person can click on this and just pick their own price of whatever they want to pay for it. So, again, that's how I combine the two. I think this is very good. If you wanted to do that, there's one more hack I'm going to do with this. I'm not going to share it yet, but I am going to probably put out another video. That'll probably be my next video I'll put out, but there is another hack that I'm going to do, but I really, really do like these two together using that with StoryPress, and uh, it works flawlessly. You just embed it in there and it looks clean, right? And it's active here. And when you click on, when you hover over it, it doesn't give you any type of URL sign down there, nothing like that, it, because it's all dynamically built into the HTML5. So again, just wanted to mix those two together. Hopefully you guys like that. Uh, I got a, I got one more juicy hack I'm gonna do. Um, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and like, and if you want to follow how I'm taking some of these tools to a whole nother level, again, follow me on my other channel. Um, you guys should be able to um, do that. That's the, the, uh, the digital marketing uh, tool shed. And that's where I'm taking every single tool that I've ever had, every single tool that I use, and I currently subscribe to, and I'm mixing them all together in a big mixing pot. All right, you guys take care. Be safe out there. Bye for now.